guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be trying on my old dance costumes so not too long ago my mom and i were in my old town celebration if you haven't seen those videos i'll leave my playlist linked uh, up in the cards and down below. So check it out um, if you don't know anything about that. We were in the neighborhood and we were talking about like dancers that I danced with and everything like that. And then we came home and watched like all of these old dances and I was just like, wow. Let's just say I wasn't the best dancer like way back in the day, but I got a lot better throughout the years and I was like, oh my gosh. So that gave me this idea to try on old dance costumes for you guys. These are all costumes from when I danced competitively, which was pretty much all throughout my childhood up until around 10th grade. I also just wanted to throw this in this video. I danced at Emotion Dance Project and if you are in the Orlando area and want a good dance education slash competition team slash like good community, um, check out their website. They are family owned and everything and I've known the owners for years. So if you want to get involved in dance or you know someone that wants to dance, check it out. So I guess without further ado, let's just get on into the first costume. This video is going to be more vloggish style and hopefully you guys like that. Here is the first costume. We were pirates on this like pirate ship and it was a pretty cool dance. Um, I will put some clips over this video so hopefully you can see some of the dances. I don't know how good I will be at that but We'll just attempt to try to find clips from the dances, whether they're good quality, bad quality. Also, I wanted to mention in this video that a good handful of them were handmade, but I will tell you if the costume was handmade or not. Um, this one that I'm wearing right now was not handmade, but it was hand rhinestoned. Um, so it just looks like this. It has like some frillies on it. Nice rhinestone. You always have to have some sparkle when you're on stage. I lost another arm thing, or maybe we only had one arm thing, but I feel like we were supposed to have two. I still fit in this one. Um, the reason why it's not zippered all the way up is because I can't reach back there and I'm like on my own with this. So this is what this looks like. There's also some little pantaloons. I can't believe I actually still fit in this. It is a tight squeeze, like my hips are a little bit larger, but um, I still fit in it, which is insane. Okay, let's get on to the next costume. Okay, this is the next costume. This was for a dance called Falling, and we danced to Falling Slowly. I'm surprised this still fits me because, uh, let's just say my boobs have grown. So it's a little bit tight up here, but the rest of the, the costume still fits me really well. The dress comes like a little bit above the knee. We also have some booty shorts here. This is what they look like. They're not really that tight. I was surprised. Like I thought that they would be a lot more tight. This costume, I don't believe it was handmade, but it was hand rhinestones and then they added this flower. So this was like a dress and then they added to it. Here's a little clip of the dance. Um, we like threw leaves on the stage and it was really fun. It was like you're playing in the leaves with like your friends. At least that's what I thought. Let's get on to the next costume. So a tradition in my dance studio, and I think they still do this, but um, my dance teacher's favorite color is blue and one of our studio colors is blue. So on every costume, there is a lucky blue rhinestone. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is what the rhinestone looks like. And on all of the costumes, there's one of them. So it would always be so fun when we were kids to like see where our lucky blue rhinestone was hidden. Okay, so this is the next costume. Clearly it doesn't fit. This is when I was pretty young. You girls thickened out a little bit. So this costume, I was an Asian warrior and this was a solo I did. And this one was handmade by a nice lady named Angela and one of my good dance friends' dads designed it. So it was really nice and it was really good quality. I actually won my first like ultimate gold in this dance, which is really fun. So this is what the costume looks like. Yeah, I'm kind of like popping out of it. But this is what it looks like. I can't obviously zip up the back because I don't want to like pop the zipper. Um, and then this is, it's just like a, I don't know, what do you call this? Like a one piece. So this is what it looks like. So this is another costume that I wore, but instead like we had a black bodysuit thing that um, went under it. So it was kind of like this costume in the sense that like pretend 
that this black was uh, underneath this, but I think I got rid of it. But this was a tap dance and it was like one of my mom's favorite dances where we would like do this with the little cape and we were like matadors and it was called Spanish Flair. And it was a super fun dance. I cannot believe I got this on with my chest being this large. So give this video a thumbs up just for the fact that I got this on. Um, it's kind of choking me, but that's okay. It's it's just like really tight and everything, but this was definitely one of my favorite costumes. I wore a lot of these costumes for Halloween. Also, I just wanted to mention that this costume, this jacket um, was handmade. I'll put the little dance on the screen so you can kind of see what it looks like. And sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder, I just want to make sure like nothing's hanging out. Okay, so this one was a lyrical dance. Um, just to clarify, this was handmade. Um, I was really young when I wore this costume, so it clearly does not fit me at all. This is what the back looks like. And this is the side, and then the other side does not zipper. It's not gonna budge. But um, I can't believe I maneuvered to get this on. Crazy. But um, this is a, another ship dance. Like we were a ship in a bottle, and um, the same material on the braid here um, was the booty shorts. But I always wore the booty shorts um, to dance and everything. So I think we ended up throwing them away but I still have the top. So I just want to show you guys, this is what it looks like. This is the look. Here is a little clip of the dance. It was a really good dance. I really liked it. And my fingers are about to burst, so I'm just gonna move on to the next costume. Okay, so this is my next costume I'm showing you guys. This is from a duet I did. I did a tap duet with um, a girl that went to my high school. Um, I did dance at high school, as a lot of you guys know. I went to an art school, so if you wanna see the video on that, I'll link it in the cards or down below so you guys can see. Uh, but this was at our dance studio. It was not at my school. Just this cute little green outfit. It's perfect if you wanted to like be a witch or something. But unfortunately, like this little part here is like kind of coming off, but that's okay. This was handmade. Um, it does fit me. I know it doesn't look like it fits me up here, but I have a lot of room so I could have like done that, but my arms don't move like that. I can't believe I still fit in this, honestly. I could actually wear this like as a dress or something, but I love it. It has the same material down here and you can see like the stitching a little bit over here. And yeah, so it's like kind of a leotard with a skirt on it. This is probably the most comfortable costume out of all the ones I'm trying on today for you. Here's a little clip of the dance if I can find it. Okay, let's get on to the next costume. Okay, so this is another costume um, that is kind of weird. Guys, these are not my normal leggings. These are leggings from Justice. Do you remember that store? I know they're still in business, but like, wow. I still fit in Justice clothes. That's insane. But this is the little jacket I wore. And then I also had this hat. I think it was like a military dance or something. Yeah, this is what the costume looked like and obviously had on like a tank top. It was like a black tank top. So like our midriff wasn't showing and this um, jacket was like wide open obviously and it was a hip hop dance so we would like be break dancing and stuff this is insane that i still fit in these freaking leggings i might actually like keep these for myself like throw them in the wash and like wear them as like normal leggings they're cute this is a cute little outfit and this is an actual real army jacket i think and then obviously they're hand rhinestoned so my mom went to a store i think it was like a thrift store or something and just we got like army uniforms a lot of the parents did then they we just kind of like cut it up and made it look cute like this and rhinestoned it so this was not handmade obviously and i thought i forgot or didn't have the clip of this dance but i did and it was supposed to be andy's little house with all of his toys and we were the soldiers it wasn't actually a soldier dance it was like we were toy soldiers if that makes sense okay and last but not least this is my costume from a dance called masquerade we wore these masks when we danced and it was kind of hard to see out of it but um this is a costume it's so cute i love like doing this in it i can't believe it still fits me like look at that that's insane 
I actually had my mom help me zip it up just um, so I could show you guys one that's actually zipped up. It's this hot pink color. This is probably one of my favorite colors. Uh, my favorite color is white, but this for a vibrant color, it's like hot fluorescent fuchsia color. I love this color. This one was handmade. Um, as you can see, one of the little things, one of the little petal things fell off with the gold. I still have it, but when I was taking it out of um, the closet, it like fell out. I'll try to put a little video here on the screen so you guys can see part of the dance. We had these fans that we would like fan ourselves with, with the mask and everything. For bottoms, we wore the same like pantaloon purple things it matches the purple really well and yeah that's pretty much it for um the costumes i hope you guys liked them leave in the comments what was your favorite costume i shared today and don't forget to let me know if you want a part two so let's get on to the outro so those are the costumes i wanted to share with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want me to do a part two like this video and comment down below telling me that you want to see that because I do have more dance costumes that I can try on for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.